we're going to look at the azimuth functionality in the puffin and it helps dial in uh, maximum separation of left and right channels so that you have just a, a really good fit with that needle in the groove. Now imagine uh, we're, what we're adjusting here is the rotation looking straight on of your cartridge. We want that needle to be fitting right in that groove. Imagine that wrinkle on my knuckle is the groove and we want that needle just perfect. Now the, the cantilever could be rotated a little bit. The diamond could be kind of mounted at a little bit of an angle just within a quarter of a degree or half degree or, or you know, a couple degrees off one way or the other. And we'll go ahead and start off with the cartridge, uh, you know, straight up and down. I use a bubble level that I've, I've actually calibrated this. I may buy a bag of 10 of these from China and then uh, using, you know, a high dollar uh, laser level or something, uh, then then sort out the ones that are good and toss the rest. And then I use these little lightweight uh, bubbles. I just have them beside my turntable, always checking to make sure uh, that I have things set up correctly because I'm changing my setup constantly. Okay, so let's, let's go to azimuth. It's in the test uh, folder there. And we'll go, it's these four bands on the order on test record, left, right, left, right. And it's the same on both sides. So we'll start off with the left. We have about 28 dB of separation. Let's look at the right. And, and you can just hit that select button on and off just to uh, get the averaging, uh, zero off the averaging and start over again. So we got 28 and 25 right now. Let's go ahead and make a small adjustment counterclockwise. Uh, I know that when the bubble's about touching the, the outer band there, that's about a degree. So it's about a degree rotated counterclockwise. Let's redo these tests. Oh my. Now we're down to 20 dB of separation on the left. And 20 or let's see, what do we, no, we're, we're at about 19 dB of separation on the right. We're going the wrong way, where we went way too far. Let's go clockwise rotation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, now I've loosened up this, uh, this is a Jelco head shell and I've loosened up the Allen screw there so that I can freely rotate this. Once we get it dialed in, I'll go ahead and tighten that Allen screw back up. But now I know I've, with that bubble touching that ring, I now I've got about a one degree rotation clockwise. Hey, okay, now we're moving in the right direction. 31 dB of separation on the left. Thirty-one dB of separation on the right. Hey, this is this is this is pretty good here. Let's go a little bit more. Another half degree rotation counterclockwise, uh, clockwise rather. So we're about a degree and a half here. Okay, I think we've gone too far. Yes, we're we're going in the wrong direction again. So let's back up to about half a degree rotated. So we'll go, we'll go back to about half a degree rotation clockwise. Hey, this looks like the best yet. 36 and 32, 33. Uh, and I would leave it here. I think uh, this is as good as we're going to get it. Uh, they, we aren't necessarily trying to get them uh, exactly the same. Uh, otherwise, we, we would be losing perform some performance. Uh, so we want them to be, you know, both as high uh, a separation as we can get. And if they're a few dB different, that's okay. That's not a problem. And especially when we're starting to read into these real high levels of separation, you know, that means we're having uh, 
other things play into it. And it's just really tiny uh, differences at that point. So when you're talking about the difference between 34 and 37 dB of separation, that's, that's no big deal. And that's much better than 30 and 30. Okay, let's look at another record. Another classic uh, test LP is the Ultimate Analog Test LP. And the tracks we're going to be using are tracks 2 and 3 of side 1. So right there and right there. Really easy to see. And the first one is the left and the second one is the right. And these also give us really good separation. And uh, hopefully we'll just, we'll just show us uh, exactly what we saw in the previous test. So about 34 dB separation on the left. Thirty two DB of separation on the right. Okay. That's matching up with what we saw in the previous one. I like this tacit vinyl check record. Uh, it's it's German record and a lot of people use it in Europe. And although, as we're going to see here in a, a minute, it doesn't have the performance of the previous two records for channel separation, it, there's a lot of other tests on it I really like. So uh, I certainly would recommend uh, folks to, to add this to their, uh, their test record collection if they have it. Uh, but the, the ones we're looking at here are tracks, well, part four, the crosstalk. And it's uh, tracks four and five. So there's the big wide track, two, three, and then four and five. We see two tracks side by side that look very similar. That's the two uh, one kilohertz left and right signals. Now we have 23 dB of separation here. And you're like, whoa, we lost 10 dB of separation. And I'm like, no, that we it's we still have the separation in the cartridge, but we're running into the limits of the vinyl. We have these uh we have the grooves close together. And because we have them close together, we're getting uh some feedback, uh some lack of separation from the vinyl itself. So uh, but that doesn't mean this is a, a, a bad test on this particular record. I mean, you can still get in the mid-20s, and it lets you know uh, that you're in the ballpark and that you're not screwing things up. And that's another part of these tests. There's With the Ortofon and the Ultimate Analog, you're dialing it in maybe way beyond what you need to. But, hey, we're, we're, we love vinyl, so that's what we do. And with this, this is probably where you know you're in really good shape and you're definitely not screwing up your records or screwing up uh, your, your cartridge. Uh, for the last selection here for this video, we have the classic CBS STR 100. And it's been out probably 60 years and a lot of people have a copy. And you can get a copy of this maybe for $10 if you watch on Discogs. That's, I think that's what I paid for this one. And it's relatively clean. And uh, we're looking at, for this test, the asthma test, we're looking at side A and the last two tracks there, uh, band 6A and band 7A. And I still haven't tightened down my gel co, but we're still at the half degree rotated clockwise. So. Okay, so uh, 21 dB of separation on the left channel. Uh, 21 dB of separation on the right channel. So, you know, this is like the tacit, not quite as good as the tacit vinyl check record, but once again, it's good enough to make sure you're in the ballpark, that you're not doing damage. Uh, so 
not giving you a, a, an unreasonable amount, a, a crazy amount of rev resolution on this measurement, but still better than some of these other test records. Uh, some of these other test records that I've used, you know, from the 60s and 70s, you won't even get into the 20s uh, of separation. So I don't know how useful those records would be at all. But still, the CBS and the TACIT are, are definitely still useful for these tests. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm not a guru when it comes to setting up your cartridge. And there's lots of great videos on uh, YouTube on azimuth and cartridge adjustments and, and all that. I definitely encourage everybody to, to study up and, and watch, uh, watch lots of videos. Knowledge is power. And, and I'm definitely learning every day. And this isn't a, uh, uh, this is just one part of all the different methods. I do like having a bubble level as an idiot check. I always do visually look at my cartridge from the side to check, you know, when you're checking the rake angle, you know, from the front. If things look really skew skewed up, then you may have a problem. But with all these, uh, looking at it, bubble levels, and now uh, some of these tests with the puffin, all, all of these things combined, you just can get a much better feel for what is going on and how well you have it set up. And uh, definitely those of you that have, you know, some useful tips and, or videos or whatever, definitely post it in the comments below. Thanks for your time and keep your needle in the groove.